Good evening and welcome to tonight's story. It's Mrs. Honiger and um, tonight I'm going to read to you the story Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck by Lisa Wheeler. Um, this is probably one of my favorite books and I hope you enjoy it too. Farmer Dale's Red Pickup Truck hauled a load of hay. A bossy cow with brown eyes was standing in the way. How about a ride? asked bossy cow. Hop in, said Farmer Dale. Move over, ordered Bossy Cow. There's no room for my tail. The truck bounced up, the trunk the trunk the truck bounced down. It spit and sputtered towards the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck was chugging right along. A woolly sheep came strolling by, bleeping out a sound, a sound, a song. Room for more? Saying woolly sheep, fit me in somehow. No problem, answered Farmer Dale. Move over, uttered Cow. The truck bounced up and shimmied. It coughed and wheezed back on down. The pickup truck spit a cloud of smoke and sputtered towards the town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck hit a rocky bump. It swerved beside a roly pig skating past the dump. Oh, my stars, squealed Roly Pig. You folks just knocked me down. So sorry, Dale apologized. Need a ride to town? I do indeed, said Roly Pig. My skates are broken now. Climb aboard, sang Woolly Sheep. Move over, ordered Cow. The truck bounced up and groaned back down. It hiccuped twice and chugged towards town. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck slowly rattled on. A goat with an accordion stood gazing on the lawn. Can I squeeze in, said Nanny Goat. My pleasure, Farmer said. Bad idea, sang Wooly Sheep. The engine almost died. No room, said Roly Pig. We're overcrowded now. We'll make some room, said Farmer Dale. Move over, boss the cow. The truck bounced up, the springs all popped, the bumper bumped, the pickup stopped. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck stood stranded in the road. It, seem you have, it seems you have a problem, a rooster crowed. We do, admitted Dale, Farmer Dale. The problem is we're stuck. The weight of all the animals is too much for my truck. Rooster eyed the animals. You're such a cozy group. I hate to cluck like mother hen, but who will fly the coop? <laughs> I just squeezed in, said Nanny Goat. I'm faint, squealed Roly Pig. I won't move, said Bossy Cow. I'm boss of the red rig. Too bad for you, said Wooly Sheep. The biggest has to go. Now settle down, said Farmer Dale. Let's think now, nice and slow. I'll get out, the farmer said, and push us from the rear. Good idea, said Nanny Goat. Cow replied, I'll steer. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck didn't budge at all. Dale pushed until his face was red, and then he heard a call. Can I butt in, said Nanny Goat? I'd like to lend a hoof. Rooster squawked. I'll point the way. Then Rooster got on the roof. I'll pitch in, sang Wooly Sheep. I'll ram it with my head. Don't hog the fun, said Roly Pig. Let's all help instead. The pickup truck rolled and rumbled. It rolled an inch or so. It's moving, shouted Bossy Cow. The rooster crowed too slow. Turn the key, said Farmer Dale. I can't, the cow replied. She's got no hands, replied the sheep. Farmer Ta Dale just sighed. You should steer, said Bossy. You should steer, said Bossy Cow. We'll move this heap along. The beast all pushed together and sang a working song. The pickup bounced and shimmied. It groaned and squeaked and wheezed. It, in, it spit a cloud full of smoke and started with a sneeze. Farmer Dale's red pickup truck rumbled into town, hauling goat and pig and sheep and cow with eyes of brown. 
Rooster roosting on the hood cried cock-a-doodle-doo. Hip hip hooray, Farmer Dale and his red pickup truck. The talent show today. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a good night. Bye.